So now welcome the Director for Administration and Chief Finance Officer of MECO, Mr. Gilberto Nawenko. Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Good morning, sir. And of course, uh, one of our good friends, uh, Farmer Commissioner Sam Wong of the Overseas Community Affairs Council. Fellow guests, colleagues, friends from both countries, good morning. Shao Shang Hao. Hello. That's about 25% of my Mandarin. Sorry. So I will continue in English. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Thai Truck, Sir Harrison, for inviting uh, not only me, but also our uh, organization to this event. Um, this event is very significant for me personally because it's the first launch that I'll be attending as one of the newly elected directors for uh, Penko. But this is also the first uh, launching under new management, under our new administration and new president. Uh, it is very significant because, as we know, uh, Taiwan announced its new policy called the Southbound, wherein you will be uh, extending a, a greater relationships with the country south of Taiwan, including the Philippines. But also in the Philippines, we are now undergoing a new, more Asia-centric policy in so far as relationships are concerned. Uh, we have been instructed to increase bilateral and multinational relationships with many of our Asian brothers. Uh, it is not a shifting from the West, but more so as a renewed interest with our Asian brothers in so far as not just trade, but culture is concerned. The Manila Economic Cultural Office is the organization or agency that has been tasked to not only serve as the Philippine representative office in Taiwan, but also to assist the increase in all relationships with Taiwan in general, including more importantly, trade. Having assisted for two decades, uh, many of our officers, including esteemed former ambassador, Old Rabi, who is here with me, and attorney uh, Avera, has seen the growth of relationship between the Philippines and Taiwan. Uh, being new to the organization, I owe many of what I know to them, although I've been to your country uh, prior to being appointed to Mexico. But as far as I've seen lately, uh, so far as trade is concerned, as mentioned earlier, it is not surprising that uh, the trade relationship between the Philippines and Taiwan has grown by 15%. And it is not surprising to me that the Philippines is number eight in so far as export countries from Taiwan is concerned, totaling, if I'm not mistaken, around 8.7 billion US dollars, right behind uh, the major trading partners. Uh, it's not surprising because Taiwan, as a mark, in so far as excellence is concerned, is already well known. There was a time when many Filipinos considered the word excellence in terms of the product related to those from Western countries. And I'm sure my fellow Filipinos know that. But lately, uh, we Filipinos are learning that excellence from Asian products is now growing at a very, very high rate. So that when you say made in Taiwan, we already know it is of high quality and excellence. That is why it is not surprising for me to see that the export is growing. Uh, many Filipinos know about electronics. Uh, your electronics is top notch. In fact, I've seen Foxconn and some of the other electronics firms in Taiwan and their products, and I was amazed. Lee uh, recently went to Kimpo and I saw this three dimensional creator where you can create most anything uh, three dimensional. And I saw the um, small memory chips containing multi terabytes in, in so small a place, and I was very amazed at the pace of technological development in Taiwan. But uh, spending half of my time in Taiwan 
because I spent 15 days there and 15 days there, I have had the opportunity to go around your country and see many of the other products which I feel has the potential of also coming here. Uh, for one, recently I was introduced to your uh, industry that creates enzymes from fruits and uh, vegetables. Uh, one such industry uh, creates enzymes from uh, bitter melon, and it is purportedly uh, very effective for diabetes. Being a diabetic myself, I tried the product about two months ago, and from 220, my uh, uh, sugar is now down to 120. I'm pre-diabetic. So I, for one, was amazed at the efficacy of this new industry. And I feel that if you can introduce that here, probably you have a market here. And it has a wide variety of uh, um, enzymes for cholesterol, for kidney problems, uh, for potency, for, <laughs> for the men of you. But I haven't tried that, of course. Uh, I'll, I'll introduce that to our, our former ambassador. But there's also a slimming tea, which they are trying to introduce. And I've asked my friend to take it, attorney up there. If, if I see it well, effective, I will introduce it also to the, to the market here. But only for the enzymes, your food is top notch. I've had the opportunity to go around and taste and sample your food, your nougats, your banana pies, um, and even the, the cooked food, because uh, Taiwan taste, Philippine taste is very similar. And I'm sure if you, you know, just look at the entire food. But also your other products. Uh, small knickknacks, your artistic abilities. But in general, I feel that because of our, our vertically close relationship with each other, now is a significant time to increase uh, product penetration in the Philippines for Taiwan. And it is not just beneficial for Taiwan, it is also beneficial for the Philippines, because I believe as you go in, we can do more bilateral trade and more Philippine products will also go there. This year, we will have our National Day on June 12 in the Philippines and we will be introducing some Philippine products in, uh, in, in some of the groceries which we hope will uh, push on and, and uh, will have traction. And we know that if we have bilateral trade relationships increase, we can probably help some of these products go. Uh, one of which is like, uh, I believe Carmen's Best, the, the ice cream, which I, I noticed that a lot of Taiwanese love ice cream. Hopefully we can push it. And of course, some of our uh, wine industry and liquor industry. Although I know that Taiwan produces one of the best, uh, personally, I know this from uh, Kabalat, which is a favorite of some of my colleagues. Uh, in essence, uh, we thank Taiwan for considering us one of your large trade partners. And we in Meco would like to congratulate you, Taitra, for this uh, excellent and successful launch again for this year of Taiwan Excellence. And we in MECO would like to pledge whatever assistance, whatever we can do to help increase our relationship. Know that whatever you plan, whatever you wish to do for Taitra, we in MECO will be there to help in whatever capacity we can. So again, thank you. Niha. Shishane. Thank you so much, Mr. Gilberto Loeco. It's such a pleasure to hear this best speech.